Manchester United, they lose 3-0 <laughs> at home to Spurs. Your thoughts about the game? My thoughts about the game was they're pathetic. <laughs> oh, for sure. That was it's very a, yeah. a sad group. But, um, yeah, Bruno getting the red card just solidified the whole thing. After he got a red card, I watched a little bit of the second half. I saw that uh, Kulazesi scored, and after I tuned off, I can't lie to you. But mm, Manchester United is a sorry group of bunch, man. I'm sorry. And uh, the fact that Ten Hag still has his job is baffling to me. They say they want time. I don't know how much time they want. It's the same old nonsense. I just want to move on from them. To be honest with you, this is a disgrace. Yeah, but you don't support the club, so... But it's take the same it with a, thing. Take it with a grain of salt. It's the same thing day in, day out. <laughs> same results. Yeah, it is a lot of the same thing. It feels like last year in a lot of ways for United. Um, but the United looks so bad. I think this is the worst game they've played this season. Probably... Yeah, actually, yeah. Probably. I think this is the worst game that they've played this season. They were so... I took screenshots of some shots, stats that I want to show you, but continue. They looked so slow. They looked out of it from the beginning. And obviously, you know, some of it has to do with what the manager wants to do, right? <laughs> Lining up the players, right? And having tactics like... Play <laughs> What's so funny? Because you said play uh, manager and tactics. Yeah, I, I get What I, tactics I, does he have? Exactly. I know for you, Ten Hag doesn't have tactics, whatever. No, no, it's not for me. It's for everybody that knows the sport, <laughs> knows he has tactics. For anybody if, with a football bone in their body. No, it, no, so seriously. Uh, don't tell me I didn't save it. Okay, yeah, I got it right here. Right? Well, this is all under Ten Hag. They, just, they lost 7-0 to Liverpool. They lost 3-0 to Liverpool. Beautiful. They have lost 6-3 to Manchester City, 3-0 to Manchester City. 4-0 to Crystal Palace. <laughs> yeah, they hadn't got there yet. It's the bottom of the list. 3-0 to Tottenham, 2-0 to Tottenham again. 4-0 against Brentford, 3-0 against Sevilla, 3-0 against Bournemouth, 3-0 against Newcastle, and 4-0 against Crystal, Crystal Palace. Palace. And yet, this guy still has his job. Wow And then on top of that You talk about tactics And the only thing that's funny Is when you see people That has spent less time In their club Like for example Postacoglu Onslaught um, Even this Chelsea one That is building right now Who will talk about their game When it comes here At least And uh, Brighton When he came in You saw like Direction, purpose, you know, Tottenham wanted a high press, you know, high line, keep a high line. Anschlag is doing his thing. Like, I can name you specific things that everyone's doing, but when it comes to Ting Hong and Manchester United, I don't know what they're doing. I think they spent close to $516 million in his transfer budget. Mm -hmm. Still no improvement in the club. I think it was like two 200 yeah. In this past summer, this past exactly. year. Exactly. Alone. So there's no progress. Like I said, I, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but just get oh, him you, out. Oh, you beating that dead just horse? Just get him out, man. You know, like, I don't want to talk about it. He's trash. With a baseball bat. I'm Anyone that's lie. still supporting him is delusional. I'm sorry. That's what it is. So before we go on to this whole Ten Hog conversation that is inevitable with, <laughs> with you know, me and you, obviously you're a Ten Hog outer. You've been, <laughs> a long you've been, time ago. You've been Ten Hog out for a very long time. But going back to the game, Manchester United, right? That Bruno red card. Red card, right? Yeah. Um, I see why it was a red card. I can see how people are mad with it. He didn't, it's like, oh, he slipped. I mean, yeah, but the dude, it, halfway up his shin, that's dangerous. Um, mm. If you're slipping, why go into a tackle when you're slipping? Don't don't play that game. You win super prizes. You play stupid yeah. games, right? But that red card is is not the ultimate reason why they lost. Like, they were playing shit before. Mm. And they continued to play, obviously with 10 men, but they continued to play with no no flavor at all. Yeah. For I think they had a, sp a spell of like 15 minutes where they looked decent um, with 10 men, but... The rest of the game was literally Trash, all yeah. Spurs, all Spurs, and without without Son as well, or Menu. Menu went off injured as well. Yeah, exactly. That was that made was, it even worse. Exactly. That was big for them. Um, but a lot of players played horrible that game for United. Onana, uh, Delo, Delo played terrible. Delo yes. played. I, I I think that's one of his worst performances in I United think so jersey. Too, yeah. Um, which is saying something because he's one of their most consistent, consistent players. Yeah. Um, well, maybe average player. No, no, but you can average, still be consistent. You can still I'm be consistent. Like, like average, like in a good team, that consistent, that average is average. Consistency is like you know, I would say above. Like when I were to grade it, I would say when someone plays consistent, they're just you know, um, how do I say? 
6.0 average, you know what I mean? And then if you play like... Hey, you can be consistently shit. I mean, yeah, right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like I, give it, I give you that too, yeah. Right, and that's another thing, right? The the whole United team, they no one played, no one had anything to yeah. give the team. And it was really, dis- as a Liverpool fan, it was disappointing to see United like that. Why? Um, wait, why? Because it's just like they've fallen so far from what... They're no longer your rivals. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It's Evan. It's who? <laughs> nah. In today's century, this is back when we grew up watching soccer. You could say they were your rivals. Nowadays, yeah, but, they're amen, not your rival amen, no amen. more. All right, whatever, right? But it's true. Yes. I okay. I get that, and I I fully accept that they're not our rivals, right? No. Nah, if they are, seven zero is not a rivalry. Three no. zero is not a rivalry at right? all. But. Going back to the game, because that's a whole other topic where we can talk about the United players and how they're not really United United class players, yeah. you know. Um, the game, they played so horrible, man. They were giving nothing, literally nothing. And for a game that meant so much to them in terms of getting their season started, um, a, good com- a good opponent that you can maybe springboard and get some more wins off of a good performance, they looked like they didn't want to play at all. Mm. And... Um, that goes for Rashford as well. Rashford has been oh man, I obviously he's he's not what we thought he would be, um, but he's fallen way off, way short. He's like, you know, if he was flying before, this guy's in the dirt right now. Facts. He made he made a bunch of uh, players from Tottenham look like amazing superstars. Yeah, B- uh, Johnson, I think his name is on the right hand side. Brennan Johnson, yeah, looked amazing, and I would never thought in a million years yeah. I would Ra- ever. Ra- Rashford, Rashford doesn't life. track back. He doesn't track back at all. Yeah, but this is common knowledge that we know. The law ended up uh, not tracking back, causing the goal. Mm-hmm. It was just poor all the way around at this point. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I even when when um. Manu got taken out. I think Mount got put in his place. He yeah. he offered nothing. Exactly. Mount doesn't offer nothing for this team. Like the whole team, the whole eleven. You got off the substitute bench and didn't do nothing. Um, with with a lot of time. It's not like he yeah, exactly, he went on yeah. with ten minutes. Yeah, like he much, had yeah. he had the whole a, second half basically a good yeah. chunk of time. And then uh, I could say that you know Granacho, as good as he is for United, he's still a kid. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And that's very evident watching him play. You know, he's still a kid. You know, he's he could be. There's still a lot of growing to do. Exactly. So, you know, as him being your quote unquote starter, I want to say starter because he plays almost majority of the game. He is a starter, yeah. For him being your yeah. starter player, I mean, shout outs for Ganacho, but as a club man, I don't know. I still view him as a kid. He has a lot to grow. He, yeah. I don't think he should, you know, yeah, have that, that start. That pressure of. But that's a whole other conversation that people have been having of. Um, should United really be using these young guys like that with all that pressure yeah. when they still have a lot to grow? And when they don't make that, it's a big blow to their confidence. And mm. Premier League is all about confidence. Like, yeah. if you're playing, like, Rashford with confidence and Rashford with no confidence, two completely different, yeah. completely different players. I agree. Um, and that's just one of the, the many cases that that shows. But, you know, Menu, uh, Garnacho. Who else? And uh, I mean, Ahmad has uh, Diallo has come on sometimes, not as big, not as much as uh, Garnacho. But these young players that you you put in, it's nice to see them. But and when they succeed, it's a good feeling. Yeah. But when when it doesn't work, you gotta look somewhere else. Pretty and much. Um, this game was horrible, man. The whole team, um, especially for that first goal. The first goal was freaking awful. That uh, Van de Ven run through the middle. Right through. Yeah. Exactly. Disgusting, this <laughs> center back. Disgusting, <laughs> disgusting, man. Um, anything else you want to say about this game before we hop into this nah, ten hog conversation? Yo, this you done game, with it? Yeah, I'm done with it. I'm right. done with the whole segment. Right. But I think many, many United fans are done with it. Yeah. Um, but there are still some fans that say, you know, keep ten hog in. Yes, I know it's not, it's not great, right? Um. But they're entitled to their opinion. And I, I get their opinion. It's like, if we take out Ten Hag, what do we do? You know? Um, we have Vanessa Roy, we put him in um, for, as an interim head coach or whatever. Maybe things work out. But what then, right? Who else are we going to bring in? Nagelsmann? Are we going to bring in Tuchel? Are we going to bring in Xavi? Um, I've heard stories of Southgate as well. which is If they bring <laughs> Southgate... I I've, want them to bring yeah. yeah I no, want no. Them to, I want them to bring in Southgate, <laughs> Trust but me, I want more. A lot of the a lot of the Ten Hag inners are like, okay, uh, 
a lot of the Ten Hag inners are, you know, is like then then what? Because we they did this with Van Hal, Mourinho, Ali, especially after Ali, it was Moise. just like ab- Moyes absolute shit show afterwards after mm. firing their manager. They're they're kind of like okay, if we have nothing and we pull Ten Hag out, the rest of the club's gonna fall with it. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, I see what you're saying, but I, like I said, it's been two and a half years. There's no identity. I mean, if you was pulling in a direction, maybe I say yes, stay with him, but I don't see no direction. And you might as well be leading this team to the dirt if you have no purpose and no identity. It's the same thing as you just firing a coach and just starting from scratch. I don't see no difference. It, to me, equivalently, it's the same thing. You're, you're just stabbing in the dark and if something hits something hits might as well just get a new coach and see what happens you know does that speak more to the club or more to the people who run it like I mean, the, like by the club i mean the players um the fans or the the people who run it who I, I think i think part of the reason part of the things is the people that run it i mean if you look at time and time again now uh, we had mikey in the podcast so we've been talking to mikey and even if you had a ronaldo when he was here at this uh uh, the second spell at United, he says, "There's no growth in the club. There's no, there was no change. There's no evolution." Mikey says, "It's the same thing. You know, uh, the owners don't care. That, you know, it's either you sell, or you don't sell. It's all this back and forth stuff." So I think the own or I think some of the uh, pressure or some of the responsibility or majority of the responsibilities go for the owners of the club. But hey, man, that's not my club. I don't care. Let them run down. <laughs> United's looking more and more like a mid-table team. Yeah, I, I think so. More yeah. and more like a mid-table team. Um, I, th- when did they finish eighth? Was that last year? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'll tell you right now. I think it was last year. That was one of the in my in my mind's eye, right? That that was one of the more more disappointing United seasons I've seen in a while. Actually, to go back to your point about the all those yeah last year eleven zero seven zero yeah. losses. Uh, apparently, Ten Hag has had more. More uh, blowout losses than Sir, than the club has had since Sir Alex Ferguson. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, even when we had, even when they had Moyes or you know, they never got blown we, up we, like we that. We don't bring that man's up. It yeah, is. but still, they never got blown up like that. <laughs> yeah, it, you, it is. They might have lost, but it is. Okay. never like that. They ended up winning a Europa League with you know, um, what's his name in front of Bacci, uh, Mourinho. You know, they had, you know... One, something that Mourinho says is his greatest accomplishment because the team was just so bad. Trash, exactly, yes, 100%. And that's when he was talking about heritage. Yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, I still blame Ting Hag for every decision, even the kicking out of Ronaldo when he was their top goal scorer. And, you know, they had a falling guy. I still blame him. Um I just think it's ridiculous. I don't know why he's there, what he's doing. I don't see an identity that he has. I think he needs to be out. And it's been, you know, at least a year that I think he should have been out. You know what I mean? I've been saying this for a year. Midway okay. last season, I would say he should have been out. Okay. So let's say we take out we take out Ten Hag. Who do you think would be a good replacement for him? Who is on the... Who do you, who's like a shortlist? I think Van Nusselrooy would be a good shout to let him finish out the season. Yes, and then see they, if they, he does. If he does good, then I say the maybe club a has talked about that. But one of the reserves that they're they're having about that is that his inexperience. Yeah. Um. Obviously, he had he had that season at um, PSV. Mm-hmm. Um. But again, we've seen we've seen it with Ten Hag, the Eredivisie, and Premier League, two different things. Um. I think, honestly speaking, I think what they should do is fire him, but start early, don't start late. There's no cup trophies. There's no nothing that you say, okay, let me keep him just for, you know, until the tournament's done. Um, I say fire him, have Vanessa Roy, give him that finish of the year. If he does really good, hey, who knows, give him a shout. If he doesn't, bring in a long-term manager. Okay, but who? I would say uh, take your money on Ruben and Marine. You could say that. So Amorim is one of the guys on your Options, shoulders. yeah, exactly. Um, How do you feel about Nagelsmann? Yeah, I don't think I don't know about long term, but yeah, he's an option. Um, something like something like, for example, how Liverpool did it when they brought in Onslaught or um, what is it, Club? Just someone that's gonna 
build the team. I would even I wouldn't be mad at Pochettino. You know what I mean? Even Just though he a did club bad, builder type of exactly because that's what they need right now. Hey, but he's at, he's at the U.S. right now. Yeah, you yeah exactly. But international football, not nah. he's on he's international. He's, he has he's plenty, leading the men's he's, plenty of time. All right, that's what he got. The men's U.S. national team. Right he got now. plenty of times. I would even be mad if doing uh, what's that little one that played for Bayern Munich that did bad in Champions League last season. Even though he did bad, I wouldn't be support. Uh, uh, I wouldn't be opposed to him. Chelsea man. He was Chelsea too. Tuchel, Tuchel, Tuchel yeah. Even a Tuchel, just uh, someone that could just build project. You know what I mean? That could build a club from the ground up. Um, if they do anyone like uh, Lampard, if they do to anybody like Gerard, uh, Gerard or Potter, not Potter. Um, what's his name? The one that you said, Southgate. Bring in Gary Neville. He, he's just doomed. <laughs> Still a better coach than uh, uh no, 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 he's still no, a better coach. He's still a better coach. Felton. He's still a better Felton. coach than Tinkhog. He's still a better Felton. coach than Tinkhog. Felton, you you talk Felton, right? You you support a La Liga team. You saw this man. I got stats. <laughs> I got photo stats. Right here. I have it right here. So right. Gary Neville is 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 no, I'm not saying he's your pick, but he would be a suitable pick for you. No, I I never said that. All right, what, I what, said he's a better manager. A be, at so he's, at he's this point. so he's a better manager. Look at Gary Neville at Valencia: twenty eight games, eleven losses, and thirty nine goals uh, scored, thirty nine conceded. Ting Hog the last twenty eight games: thirteen losses, thirty six goals, and forty two conceded. <laughs> I'm still picking, you know, you know what I mean. I'm I'm picking. I think he's a better coach. <laughs> I just say I'm, that, that's all I'm saying. That's just you it's, know. It's hard to think of what you, what United should do at this point because the, the club is they pulled, already, yeah they already tried to be out. Yeah. It's pulled in so many different directions. Like they, if they go if they go with the sack, right? Okay, what then? If they keep them, it's like okay, maybe what's bring- the future? Because the team said the the higher ups or the the board uh, members they they were like okay we're gonna win the Premier League by 2028, bro. That's who said hmm. that? The the board members of the club. <laughs> they said they're aiming and then to. They to... Woke up. <laughs> Honestly, yo, I, yo, if it was me personal and it was my club, I would say, um, bring in Allegri. Should just just end it. No, 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 because Allegri is very defensive minded, and uh, at least they won't concede this much bull crap. You know, uh, defense wins titles. Just start from the back. I mean, that's the only one I could think of. Allegri or Xavi or something. You know. Keep the ball high pr- tempo press. Xavi would be interesting. Yeah, I, I mean, but then again, the next question is who's going to want the Manchester United job? That is the granted that is the question. Granted, they probably could get their salary whatever they want salary wise and just keep it. But yeah, I mean, I'd say if it was my club, I'd pick those two people. Or first and foremost, Ruben memory is my first shot. Okay, that's actually not a bad shot yeah. at all. Um, now that we've gotten the managers come up, it's out the way. Let's talk about the players, right? Is it somehow the players' fault that United is like this? Because they're on the field. Obviously, the coach has his, as you like to say, your, his tactics. <laughs> but okay. His tactics, right? But <coughs> at the end of the day, it's on the players. Is it the players' fault that United is in the shape that is that it's in? I mean, I, I want to say if it was last season, maybe you could have said it was the uh, players' fault. But they've bought some really good signings that has been doing good for them. Like, if you said last uh, season, Casemiro, they fixed it. They bought Ugate. If you said last season, you know, the Maguire and Evans, you know, they bought in, uh, what's his name, Maserari. They bought in Delict, you know. So all these players that were an issue last season, they've got proper replacements for them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Maybe they still they, don't have a left back. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that's true. And maybe they could do one with a winger, you know, but they bought Xerxes, you know. More of a center forward. Center yeah. forward, but exactly. Maybe his, yeah. his center forward positioning is weird to me. I feel like he's more of a number 10 than a number 9. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. But, you know, all these positions that were an issue, they somewhat tried to resolve or did resolve some of them. So, for me, it's like, I don't and know. And they're still in the shape that they're Exactly. In. So, I don't know if I would, for say, it's the player's fault, you know? I mean, obviously, they bear some responsibility. But I think majority comes down to the management and the higher-ups, 100%. I think it's I think it's both, man. I think it's both. Obviously, you're saying you're not saying it's a hundred percent the manager. Yeah, and I get that, but I think it's a little bit split more evenly between the players and the manager. Hmm. Um, because when um, 
when Ali left, right? I remember United going on a on a win, like a a streak or whatever. Like they were playing really good. The players were playing really good. Um, and from what I've gathered, uh, they've done that before. The manager leaves, and all of a sudden, the players get up to play, right? And then the manager loses the players, and then everybody shuts back down. Like this is a cycle that just happens at United, and that's not conducive of winning. It's not, it doesn't help anything, and the players are shooting themselves and the club in the foot mm. when they do that. Obviously, it's the manager who picks the lineup, does the tactics and all that, but the players they got to execute. And if you're constantly on this, oh man, uh, we you know you lost me there. You know I I I, I can't. I guess that that's to me that's not that's not very united of you because mm. to me I still think of you obviously he long gone um, I still think of United as under Alex Ferguson like a well oiled machine and that's why it's so surprising to me to see United and such a spectacle for me to watch their games because it's just like yeah how the mighty have fallen you know exactly yeah so used you, to fear going to theaters dreams now you just a laughing stock who cares yeah. Yeah. Salah owns that place, yo. At this for point. sure, for sure. I just, but I just wanted to bring in. I wanted to bring in my opinion about the, uh, the players because I know that you know, first, you it know, it sounds like you want a, a player coach at this point. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what you're giving, you know. You know when they left, you know when the yeah, managers bring in, left, bring you know, in, bring in Terry Henry, yeah, Terry or what is it, Paul Scholes, because he was a player coach for a while, I think, or was yeah. it Carrick? It was my no, no. Carrick, I think, yeah. I think, uh, bring a player coach, huh? Yeah. Yeah, someone like a vibe with, you know? That's like uh, the equivalent of your parents being like, I don't want you to think of your mom, but as a friend. You know what I mean? Just a player coach. Not really a coach. What are you guys? I don't know if player coach works, man. I just think this team needs a rehaul at this point. And that's yeah. sad, saying that, you know, seeing that they were already in a rehaul. Um, but get it, let's get it straight, though. If they do reset now to fulfill that goal of 20... 28. I don't think it's tough. That's three years. I don't think that's completely far off, you know. Um, I don't think they'll achieve it, but I think they could maybe make a run for it at that year if they start now. You know what I mean? Each year you wait. The, yeah, you just got to bite the bullet. Early. Exactly. Just do it now and just, I, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Just start now. Obviously, you wouldn't be opposed to it. That's why I said, it like, it's you're the 10 middle. Hog out. You, you and, <laughs> <laughs> but it's the beginning of the season. Do it now. That's what I say. Do it now. Do it now. Don't wait until the end of the season. Won't be enough time, especially with these uh, tournaments that are going to come out the butt. And on top of that, what is it? League of Nations, I think, is happening this year. Just get it done now. Trash. Trash. League of Nations or? Bro, all these games. That, that yeah, I all, mean, hey. I, I, have, I have no, like, I, I, I don't care enough to watch those games, to be honest. It's just it's Watch my one team. If they go far, then, yeah, after that, no, nah, who cares a damn? Yeah. All right, so let's move on. Enough talk about United. We're talking about the other side of Manchester. Newcastle, Manchester City, they tie 1-1. What was your thoughts about this game? How do you feel about this game? How does this game treat you? All right, so how does this game treat me? Um, I want to ask you something first off. Did you think that Kyle Walker was a penalty? Tackle on Kyle Walker did was a penalty? No. You didn't think it was? No. But honestly, the, the tackle is escaping me. I didn't think there was any like. Egregious. There was one that was, I think it was a tackle, and I I don't even remember because I right after that game I watched a Chelsea game right right after. And I'm like these are the same thing, <laughs> like why it was one given and one wasn't. But because again, there's no consistency. Exactly, there's this no is consistency. Football heritage. Yeah, exactly, sadly. But when I watched the game, honestly speaking, I didn't think uh, United was too bad without um, City. I mean, sorry, City was not too bad without. Um, Roger KDB. Obviously, they weren't to their 100%, but they were, you know, good enough, you know. I think they should have got over the line, but they didn't. So, if anything, um, I feel like if I was Man City, I feel like this was a big failure. You know what I mean? Um, man, uh, big drop in points. Exactly. I think uh, Newcastle United should feel, like, really happy and almost feel like they won, you know what I mean? Um, this game was very interesting. I don't know. Uh I honestly did not see this, you know, happening 1-1. Yeah, I think you had City winning. I had Newcastle winning. Yeah. Uh, they split the difference. And um, Newcastle, they were also the Isaac. I thought Isaac was going to play, but apparently he wasn't. He, wasn't, getting... he got a toe injury. Yeah, yeah. but the, apparently he was going to take take a cortisol shot and, and play through it or whatever. That ain't illegal. What? 
You just it just sounded illegal. Take a shot and just play with it. That's, that that sounded hell of illegal. I can't lie. Right, <laughs> yeah. broke it broke into. Um, but, take a shot. <laughs> but Gordon played in the middle. I didn't think this game was too crazy in terms of you know they were they, they were very even teams. Yeah, I think, it was. Yeah, but I do think that you know Man City they're definitely kicking themselves in the ass. Like man, we could yeah. we could have done a lot better with this team. We could uh, we could have you know. Because they let Arsenal and Liverpool into the title race with this. Yeah, you know? pretty much, yeah. And without Rodri and without KDB, you know, it's like other teams, they may seem like, oh, blood in the water type yeah. of thing. And I, exactly, seeing this, it's definitely blood in the water. And then I also think really shouldn't play half bad, you know what I mean? He was yeah, he's only... not a half bad. He just doesn't have a lot of... Guardiola doesn't have a lot of faith in him, I feel. Yeah, he was the only one that I felt like that was actually creating type stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. other than like... Useless passes. He was the only one trying to drive, you know, cut, do something. You know what I mean? I didn't see that much with others. Um, what I'm very interested in about is um, the reason why Phil Foden isn't playing. I think that's a great asset in the team that he didn't play, uh, that he's he's not putting in. I mean, I, I don't know his tactics, what's going through his brain. He gets paid the big bucks, but why isn't he starting? That's the Apparently, uh, Guardi- Guardiola's talk about this. Um, he leaves it at... Um the amount of games that Phil has played. Mm. Um, obviously, he played for England in, in the summer, um, and he plays a lot of games for City. But uh, I also believe that like uh, he may have some sort of knock or whatever, like a small injury. Yeah. That he, but he did play against the Arsenal. So you know, so I think he came he's, off the bench here too. I believe. Yeah. So we yeah. started to like work slowly, work, work him into the lineup. Way, yeah. He may have not found himself in the game um, because of Guardi, because of coach's decision. But because um, like, if I'm missing KDB and I'm missing Raji, I would. Lean on Foden Exactly Heavy. Yeah him and Grealish And whoever options I have But he didn't So that was a surprise to me But Yeah no If I was definitely Any other team In the Premier League Blood in the water for sure mm. Okay Alright Um, Chelsea uh, And Brighton uh, yo. Chelsea 4 Brighton 2 I didn't watch the game Tell me about it You didn't watch it? I know you regretted it I know you regretted it No nah. I'm telling you You regretted it No nah. Yo, first off, this this whole game remind me of a game of FIFA. <laughs> no defending at all. Four two by uh, what's it? The forty fifth minute. Cole Palmer, unbelievable guy. It's like you got an SPC. He's playing. I like, heard he got four goals. Four goals, yeah, exactly. Four goals in every aspect of the game. Probably he uh, scored a penalty. He scored a free kick. He scored a uh, uh, he scored a shot. And what was the uh, fourth one? I don't remember. Got to be right. header to get a full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it. No, nah, it wasn't the head. It was probably two shots. But anyways, City City missed out on him, man. Or that's what I'm saying. Actually, and England, <laughs> he barely started in the Euros. I, this is the man that didn't play in the Euros. Wow. I, I'll, I'll I will give City this right. They have a lot of players in Cole Palmer's um, position right now. Wow. But the thing right I right hand side who? Besides, you could say Foden. Well, right now they got Savino on the right side. Oh yeah, now. Now, he was a dish year's transfer. No, but I'm saying that. Chelsea got him for dirt cheap. I think they really missed out on that money from the from his sale. Man City did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, there's, I think, yeah. But in terms of like a prospect. great player, that the reason why Cole Palmer is so good is because he's, he's able to get the ball and play in that like 10 caca role, right? Um, but he wouldn't do that if he was on City. He would not. He'd be molded into something else because their middle is already solidified. I mean, yeah, you could probably say that. Yeah, I agree but with that. He is a talent, yeah. man. Those four goals, crazy. Bro, like yeah, like I said, it was like a game of FIFA. <laughs> no defending. These goals were ridiculous. A game of that, basketball. Yeah. This, Back and forth. Ba- yeah, it was, that free kick was far out, too. It was amazing. Uh, I think uh, I've seen the free kick. Yeah. The only thing is, is that um, Nico Jackson, man. On the right side, curl away from the goalie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Nico Jackson, you know, he did, you know, he played... Very well. I mean, he's not a bad striker. You know, he makes the runs. I just think the decision making in the final third could be a bit better. And the offside stuff. Yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, no, that team actually, you know, besides the the two goalies that freaked up, <laughs> couldn't cost the goal. You know, I don't know if you've seen the highlights or anything like that. But the goalies basically gave up two goals uh, each. Okay. Um, I think was, I saw Rob Sanchez's. Yeah. San- and Sanchez, this further, you know, what we talked about on Discord or whatever, that San- Chelsea deserves a better goalie than Sanchez. They need a better goalie. They deserve, they need, whatever you want to call it. Sanchez is not it. 
Like, yeah. Matter of fact, I don't even know why he's still there and what the transfer is about. You bought fifty billion outside players. By Hon- goal. Honestly, they could probably play. They could probably start Pekovic. I don't even, oh, pe- uh, the other one. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, because yeah, he can play with his feet. Yeah. And honestly speaking, I mean, I don't want to bring United into it. By the hey, he's still class. You see him for Argentina, he's doing good. No, no, no. He's not United anymore, so you don't have to bring United when you talk yeah. about David. All right, then, yeah. Bye. Yo, honestly, if you're talking about people with free markets, I'll get him because whatever you have now is trash. Sanchez, garbage. Yeah, he's still, a lot of, he's still got a lot in the tank. Yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, exactly. 40, 41, I think. 37? No, I said 41. I'm sorry. I meant to say 31. <laughs> He's low 30s, yeah. Yeah, okay. I said 41. I was like, wow. But yeah, no. Uh, yeah, that game was crazy. Um, I, I think uh, also, too, I want to say with Brighton, um, Brighton, without the Zerbies, just they look weird. They just can't play off the back. Uh, they have a lot of young talent. And the young talent, I don't think they're uh, solidified yet. And they want to, quote unquote, know their role. And I think that's probably some of the. Um, Issues that they have, but yeah, no. When I seen them play, they look terrible on the field. Can't lie, they look garbage. Mm. They don't look like the Brighton we saw last year, and I don't think they're gonna do good this year. But Chelsea's on a little run now. They are, and they deserve it. After that West Ham game and this, definitely they deserve it in my opinion. I think uh, I think I had Chelsea, or you had Brighton for this game. Did I? Yeah, you had Brighton for this game, yeah. and I think I had Chelsea for this game. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't. Yeah. All right, on to the next game. Brentford won. West Ham won. I didn't watch this game. Trash. You watched it? Trash. You watched it? I guess this was the shit game I watched. You watched this game? <laughs> yeah, I did. Why? What made you? Th- I'm gonna put this on and watch it. Why? Because I just because I didn't expect I didn't expect West Ham to play well, and they didn't play well. Um. <laughs> I didn't expect uh, Brentford. No, no. I I expected Brentford to walk them in the park, but they didn't. You know, but they did start off really well with that initial goal. Was Brentford is really good at? It. They get an early goal more than more than not. Was it Wisa? No, Mbwemo. Mbwemo. Yeah, those two are nice. Mbwemo. I think uh, Wisa is actually hurt right now. Ah, okay. Yeah, I think he's hurt right now. Um, but again, West Ham. Moving on, to the next game. Yeah, I don't want to watch that. They finally won. Everton, they finally won. Okay. I didn't watch they, this. I didn't watch this game either because I told you I didn't watch Everton. You know? Who do they face? Crystal Palace. Uh. But they finally won. They're no longer part of the bottom spectacle that's going on. So far. So far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far. So far. Um, but what I really, the spectacle of this week for me, Wolves and Liverpool. Wolves won, Liverpool two, man. Did you watch the game? No, I, and I, I thought I should have watched. To be honest, you had I, Wolves winning this game. I did just for for the for, <laughs> for the, the lulls. lulls. Yeah, for the lulls, hundred percent for the lulls. Because uh, like you guys been on a rank, uh, rampage on the league actually on, on top. Like, yeah. I thought you guys would like win comfortably. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I guess not. You know, I said I was a little scared about this team because they always show up to play against us. Yeah. Um, and sometimes when when the little guy comes into town or. We're going into their into their den. In this case, we were away. Um, you can get knocked and you can get punched in the mouth. Let's just say that, right? Yep. But we started off pretty well. Um, got the got the goal off a rip. Um, I forgot who scored. Um, uh, Konate, because I oh yeah, I the Konate that header, yeah. celebration Kon- that he did. Yeah, but then he goes and he does a, this dumb, ca- not dumb, careless is and dumb. The thing, right? The thing with Konate, right? I think he's a good, a good player, right? Slightly above average, right? <laughs> I think <laughs> he's average. Slightly above average. Uh, no, no, for Konate, slightly above average, right? But he has these moments where he's just like he's just looking at, like it's like, I, where am I? You know, what day is it? Oh, is Kamala the president? Like you know, it's like he doesn't know like what's going on around him, and that that opportunity that he allowed the Wolves player um, when he was trying to corral the ball out of bounds or into Allison it's just like another very very blatant careless moment from Konate I feel like he does that more frequently than um, 
the needs be. That's why I don't think he's yeah. above average. Yeah. That's why I think he is average. No, but he, he got he got the build, he got the pace. No, he, he has got everything. The, yeah, exactly. He got everything. Exactly. Yeah. He's just ha- he has his moments. Yeah. He has his Konate moments. Um, but I feel like we got bailed out in this game, right? Because obviously after that happened, we get the penalty Salah converts. And I'm just looking at this. I think you called me during the time. Yeah, but it wasn't towards Salah. It was more towards uh, the first goal of Konate. What do you mean? I only saw it when I called you. It was Konate's goal. All right. No, no. I think you called me. We were on Not the... for Salah's penalty. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Felton, because they happened like this. I don't think so. Bro, L- look, look at the... Look Konate at... was the 45th, 40, uh, okay. 45th minute end of the half, right? Salah was the 61st minute. And then... Damn, you thought I was in the club for that long? We were in a club. Yeah, because you was, yeah. I mean, maybe, but I don't remember. Because I was it. helping you out with your... Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't remember it. What, right? So, again, we, I feel like we got bailed out. And I was going to, into this game. I picked us to win. You picked Wolves to win for the lows. But I told you I was genuinely... I, I didn't know how to feel about this game because Wolves, yeah. they show up to play against us. Um, and Cunha, you never know when he's going to pull four out of his ass. You never know when when uh, Huang is going to... Yep, one, Do, yeah. We never know when I Nori is gonna pull something out of nowhere. You know, it's just like yeah. That's that's Liverpool versus Wolves. I'll leave I'll leave it there. I feel like we got bailed out, but I will take the three points because that means top of the table. You still starting? You still uh, starting Cornate? Like you still have options as in Joe Gomez? Who? who uh, you gonna play Joe Gomez? I'm asking you, not me. Oh, you asking me? Because I ain't Liverpool. No, nah, you I'm can't. You. you can't play. You can't play uh, Joe Gomez like that. I don't feel you can play Joe Gomez like that. I feel he's if you had a three back, maybe you can you can slide him in there with the with the other two, but you can't have him be a, a long like a like a tag team yeah. along with. Van what Dijk. about Kwanzaa? I like Kwanzaa. I like Jarrell. Um, but the thing about Jarrell is, I don't think Arne, Arne Slot really. He's not in the. In the time period that lines up with Kwanzaa at the moment, I think he'll get loaned out. But there's not, like, it's win now, and he still has a lot of growth. I think he's, like, 20-something, early yeah. 20, very early 20s. So it's to put, again, it's that, that Man United thing. Are, are we just going to throw him in the fire and see what happens? Yeah. And But we're in a title race now, so it's like, yeah, you know? You can't have you both. You don't want to risk it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't have both. You can't have... Obviously, you you can't have both, but it's very small percentage that you can have both. You get to grow, and we get to win. No, you gotta pick. Mm. You gotta pick. Uh, Is my tip still in your squad? I haven't seen my tip in so long. Honestly, I haven't seen him on the bench. I don't know. I think we still have him. I think, but he just doesn't play because he's just. And I don't want him to play. I don't want. I don't want my uh, tip to he play. He won the Champions League for you guys, starting. No, no, I know. The I, disrespect I, giving this man is crazy. Bro, have you seen my tip play recently? <laughs> he can't yell. You got have you seen his recent game? No, no, I respect him. I respect him, but yeah, he still puts with you guys. Yo. I'll just say that I have, I don't see him on the bench. It's been months since I've seen him play, um, and I think that's again beside the point. Beside the point. But sign the point. But you still think... I still respect Matip. It's just, bro, you, you're still old the at man. this point. Yeah. Konate's still... 33, I think, though. Wow. Oh. I, what? He's 33. Who? Uh, Matip. He's still... Bro. You think that's old? 35 for me is pushing it. Bro, you can lose... it. Look at Varane. He lost his legs at 31. Varane's a special case. Injuries. Matip's not that... Again, you can lose your legs whenever. It's true. But, it's just yeah. he's falling out of favor. He's falling out the... At this point, Konate... Is a better shout than Matip, but I still respect the hell out of Matip. Yeah. Right. Uh, going on to the other title contender race: Arsenal four, Leicester City two. Yeah, you you said you watched this game, right? I did. I watched the. Uh, uh, I rewatched it today, and. Um, What'd you get from it? What'd you get from it? Honestly speaking, you know, um, I was kind of disappointed in Arsenal because we left the last minute, two goals last minute, and yeah. it was like, wow, like we really couldn't get a goal. But, but you guys started well. Yeah, but we did start it well, and uh, this goes back to the little conversation we had with uh, uh, the other podcast, Juby, right? How you don't need to be like better skill wise to win a goal. You could have a set piece win, you yeah. know, and win a game in a fantastic wonder strike. You know what I mean? And then close the game off, which they did. It just didn't pan off on them in the ninetieth minute. Um, I, that was a beautiful goal, actually, so far. The second Leicester goal. Yeah, by uh, what is it, Justin? 
I don't know the dude's name, but I know that strike, Justin, man. Yeah, it, was, it was beautiful. Right? Drops. But first time, they're like, oh, my goodness, Yeah, that man. was beautiful. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I felt, I felt this, like, yo, just, just screaming at the time. Yeah, yeah, yo, seriously. Honestly, yeah. but that was a really good goal. But seeing Lester's response to them, I guess, does that speak more to Lester or to you guys losing concentration right after half? I want to say right at, losing concentration because it was right off the half. Like, if it, if it was, like, you know, maybe a little more in the game, you could say, yes, Lester put in the work. But I think we just got caught flat foot and just lack of concentration because it was, they just, as soon as you hopped off, they scored and like, tell us this. And then after that, it went downhill. And then shout out for Leicester because they got, like I said, the two good goals and they just parked the bus. And I think we did get lucky, you know what I mean? Um, it, it, we left the last minute and I hope this is not a habit because if this is a habit, just like you last season, it's a shitty habit and you got to break it and this is not a title wouldn't habit to have. But... We got over the line. That's all that matters. And yeah, we're three points is game, all that. We're gonna put this game behind us because it's wow. Three points is all that matters for you guys. But I want. I do want to what? shout out the Lester goalie. Man, yeah. he had a good game. He had a good game. Um, some moments where he passed the ball to. Uh, he gave up the ball to Arsenal. But other than that, he had some really good saves. Yeah. Uh, really young dude. Um, his name is escaping me right now. But shout out to him. Yeah. Yeah. No. Honestly, I mean, you could see the quality there for uh, Liverpool because when we was on the ball, like when we was actually pressing. We looked amazing. You for know Leicester. What I mean? Yeah. Leicester, not Liverpool. Oh, I'm saying for uh, against Leicester. Okay. Arsenal. We looked amazing. Sorry. But like I said, we left a, too little too late. And um, yeah, I want to put this game behind us. Facts. I, I would understand why you want to put this game behind us. On to the next game. I didn't watch this game, but I'm going to rewatch this game. Ipswich <laughs> and Aston Villa tied 2 2. Yeah, I didn't watch this game. I didn't, I didn't watch this yeah. game, but I'm going to. I, and I'm going to recap next. Next week, I'm going to recap this. I'm going to rewatch this game tonight and take notes. I'm going to. Wow. Anyway, on to the next game. It really uh, struck a chord with you on this game. Bro, because it's Ipswich I mean, and yeah. Villa. The people, right? Obviously, we, we talked about it uh, when we gave our gradings uh, for the season. I think when we were just talking about it, right? We said, okay, Aston Villa, I, I don't think they'll finish. They might not finish top four because they're stretching thin like they're on champions like yeah. they're in competitions they yeah. haven't been in um and there's more games now so that we've seen what that does to a team they they, they may take a back step in the league to try to get these these cups right yeah so i get that but this is unacceptable yeah i know this is unacceptable you take it you take a step back but this is a freaking and they had a ball this way too like it's not even like you could say they put on scrubs like they had Great players. Yeah. And I also want to see Martinez's performance because he's been very iffy for Villa this season. Uh, if you look at the ratings-wise, he's the highest rated. Well, him and... During the game? Rogers and Watkins are the three highest. The rest... Makes sense. Yeah. But still, yeah. I'll, right. watch the, I'll rewatch the game. All right. And the game that happened today... I'm not definitely going to watch it. You didn't watch it? Southampton? <laughs> yeah, Bournemouth and Southampton. Bournemouth won. Obviously... You know, good for Bournemouth. Uh, they did us dirty. Sorry, we Liverpool did did ourselves dirty against Bournemouth. Um, I think you said did us. I was about to be like, who but you, Bournemouth, you Bournemouth, us, Liverpool, us, Everton, us. <laughs> Bournemouth get they they do get up to play at times, man. They do get up to that up to play at times, and it was Southampton. But uh, yeah, that pretty much takes care of the recap for week six. So. Now we're going to get on to week seven predictions. Um, you get two draws that you can use. Um, none more. Keep it even. All right. We got Crystal Palace versus Liverpool. Liverpool. I got the Reds as well. Um, I think if Crystal Palace were to get anything out this game, it would be a draw. Um, that's the best scenario. Um, but I think with the way that we're playing... And the energy that we play with and the confidence that we that we got right now, I think that we should win this game. And on top of that, they lost to Everton, so no. Nah, nah, you're not going to, no. Hey, mate, but they might bounce back. Nah. You, you know the song. You know what Big Sean said? Nah. To get out tonight, I bounce, bounce back. back, yeah. Um, no, no, no. Arsenal versus Southampton. Arsenal. The Gunners. I got to have Arsenal, man. North London. Got to have Arsenal. Uh, Brentford versus Wolves. Wolves. They're going to definitely bounce back. Brentford. Okay. Actually, yeah, yeah, Brentford. We don't want a double-minded man, though. 
Yo, I said Brentford. I know. You actually, you know, stick to it. Uh, Man City versus Fulham. I got City. I want to see Fulham. I can see why why you say Fulham. I want to say Fulham, yeah. Because they, they, they can upset a lot of people, yeah, especially they, during... It gets, just when you said that... It I just like gets, their press, too, yeah. It makes me think of when Mitrovic absolutely <laughs> <laughs> just laid one on us. Yup. Um, but I'm I, still, I still go got Fulham. City. We'll go Fulham on this one. They got a lot of sorting out to they, do with uh, Manchester City. They, they got a lot of. They may out to other do. teams may seem like oh it's blood in the water, but it could be a draw. But I'm I'm just gonna go for that crazy upset. West Ham versus Ipswich. This is gonna be a good game just because <laughs> <laughs> just because of the run of form. This is gonna be a good game, y'all. Yeah, at this point, I'm going draw. I don't know. Is it deadlock? Yo, I'm gonna go West Ham, but this is the last time I'm back in the Hammers, man. If y'all disappoint me <laughs> this game, I'm just I'm just done picking y'all. Yeah, yo, I'm straight done. up. I will be done picking West Ham if they if they drop points at all in this game. Leicester versus Bournemouth. This is a good game. I'm I got gonna, Bournemouth. I got Bournemouth. I'm gonna go draw. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go draw on this one because I really don't know. All right, I got Everton and sorry, not I got Everton. I don't have Everton. Um, Everton versus Newcastle. Going to Magpies. I also got Newcastle, especially if they get Isaac back. Um, their performance against City was it was not eye opening, but they played they played in, good enough. Yeah. Um, and if you can play good enough against City, you can play good enough to beat Everton. Yeah. This is going to be an interesting game. The next one that you're about yes, it's going to be very interesting. Yeah. Villa versus United. They both need a a result, a bounce back. Uh, yeah. Uh, run in form yeah. So it's going to be interesting But If history serves correct I'm going Aston Villa Why? Why do you say that? Because I can't <laughs> Can't count on Manchester United Come on That's history right there I'm going with Villa as well Yeah Like come on I think at this point If you're picking United Just You're a fan You're a real core fan Shout outs to you You're a lo- you're loyal and, As Cali and, would say And you have the right to do that Right? Because It's your team That's you have the right yeah. to do that, man. You have a right to be delusional. I'm just not gonna do that. I'm not. I'm not backing United. Um, I'm not backing this group of players. Um, I'm not sure if I'm not backing this manager yet. Um, but I see. I see some some red flags right now with this team, and I, I'm not picking them. I'm yeah, not picking them. not at all. Chelsea versus Forest. I think this is gonna be a good game too. It will be a good game. Um, I'm gonna go with draw. Something's telling me to go Forest, but I might go Chelsea. I'm going to go Forest. Something's just an airy feeling. I think Forest. Airy feeling? Yeah. It's the Holy Spirit, huh? Holy Spirit. It's crazy. I'm not going to lie. It's intuition. Intuition. Uh, and then Holy the, the, last, no, 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 no. <laughs> the last game is Brighton versus Spurs. Spurs. I got Ty. White Hart Lane, Spurs. It's not White Hart Lane. It's not in the White Hart Lane? Nope. It's at Brighton or home. Oh, okay, you're right. Yeah, but I'm going Spurs. I think it's called Amex, the Amex, yeah. Amex Arena or whatever? Yeah. No, no, it's the Falmer Stadium. The what? Falmer Stadium. Stadium, Falmer. Stadium in Brighton in Holland, England. Amex Express Stadium, I guess. It's formerly called (laughs) Falmer. Look up top. So stupid. Got the dual name going up. I mean, but you looked up Falmer Stadium. What the heck? No, 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 because when I went here, Falmer Stadium. Oh, okay. But then when you click All on right. it, Amex. Look, look American at Express Stadium. All right. So what do you got for this game? I'm going Spurs, though. I'm going Spurs. I, I said tie, right? Yeah, you said tie. I'm still with the tie, yeah. Yeah, no, I can see a tie. I'm still with the tie, man. Um, But we'll see. I think if uh, Spurs have definitely been playing really, really well, but I think Brighton need to bounce back. They, they definitely need a result because that um, – that game against Chelsea, uh, I agree. Not a, great, not a great result. I agree, but that Spurs versus Man U game, the Spurs was looking great. But then again, it is Man U, but still they were looking great. Brendan Johnson looked amazing. Kulisewski, um played great. Uh, what is it? Warner did really good runs in the back. Uh, I thought he get good pressure against Maserati. You know what? I'm I'm going Spurs as well because yeah. Brighton uh-huh. this season they're playing crap. Double minded man. I don't care. Stable in all these ways. I don't care. I'm going. I'm going Spurs with this one. Brighton have been trash. Yeah, no, nah, I agree with that. 
if it's gonna bounce back, I don't think it'd be this game. It would definitely be something else. Oh no, they haven't even launched off to bounce back. Right? <laughs> exactly. All right, but that that takes care of a uh, week. What what is this? Week seven. Seventeen. Week. Se- eh. <laughs> I wish, right? It takes care of week seven predictions. Is there anything you want to talk about before we end? Uh, you mean you want to run through Champions League real quick? Run through Champions League. What are we gonna talk about in Champions League? Just the fixtures and what you think. All right. I mean, I don't have. You know, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Do you? If you don't, thanks. Go ahead. All right. Shoot. For, first off, do you like uh, this format and how you, and how it's presenting itself? Hell no. You know how I feel about this format. Trash, right? I don't like the extra games, man. Yeah, I don't know. Like, but I, what about- like I appreciate the the tournament's desire to have bigger teams play earlier on, mm-hmm. but that kind of takes the magic out of the round of sixteen, and the. And you know the, the fourth game. The argument, I mean, it, it literally we said it on the other the um, when we were talking earlier about how it's literally like the death of the group of death because yeah. it doesn't happen anymore. Now um, there's so many games that you can't even watch all of them. Yeah, they're all like in one day. Like yeah. tomorrow, get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine games as opposed to just four. Yeah, that's a group. group A. And that's B. Agreed. Yeah, exactly, pretty much. But people like the format because of, uh, you know, it, they say it allows like money. Let's be for real. I'm not talking about UEFA fans. I'm talking about football fans, right? They they talk if about you're a UEFA fan. You're nasty. Yeah, if you <laughs> you're nasty. <laughs> That goes without saying, though. <laughs> Nasty. That goes without saying. Like, if you support UEFA, get out of here, man. <laughs> get out of here, yo. Straight up. Um, but I just think it's a it's a, it's a lot a lot of games, and yeah. you know how I feel about that. Obviously, you know we talked about it with the uh, the Rodri situation, how he goes and he talks about oh we play a lot of games like you like they're running this into the ground and then a dude tears his ACL. If you don't if you if you want proof, bruh. <laughs> All right, RB uh, Salzburg versus Brest. Salzburg, but I seen I seen Thierry Henry like blushing, like oh Brest, oh weird. And who would have thought Brest? I think they won their last European competition. That was like, let me check, cause that was like a shock in it in it of itself. What was it? They faced. Yeah, yeah, the first game they won. I mean, I don't even know who they faced, to be honest with you. Who the hell is this? I don't know if you want to take a stab at it, but who the hell is this? SK Stern- Sternum Grads? No, no, no. Don't turn the phone. Try. Yeah, that's that S- SK Sternum Stern- Grads. Good job. Oh, okay. You, yeah. You're not even gonna try it yourself. You mean, all right, fine. Cool. <laughs> I'm look stupid myself. No, no, no. Your your pronunciation will, will suffice. It will suffice. Yeah. Uh, Stuttgart versus uh, Sparta Park. I have no. I have no idea. I have Surprise. no idea. Um, I'm gonna go Stuttgart because they finished, I think, second in the Bundesliga. They did have the, a good. They did third. have a good ending to last season, but I just I don't watch enough Bundesliga to f- to feel like I can give my opinion. Uh, but I know enough soccer to know that Sparta Prague. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come on, uh, Borussia Dortmund and Celtic. Name alone, I would say Borussia Dortmund. BVB, and they're at home. So yeah, but have, did, you see, did you see Celtic's first game? No, I think they. I, they may have played like a minnow or something like that, but they they won like four zero. Um, oh yeah, I have okay, seen the highlights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I seen, th- seen, yeah. And um, they played. They looked to play. I think I watched that game. I don't think I watched the highlights. I think I actually watched that game. Um, but they they look good. Um, they may give. Uh, they may get a tie. They may get a tie. I know they might get a tie, but what do you? Think? What do I think? Yeah. You think they're good enough for a tie? I think Celtics good enough for a tie. You think they're going to get it, though? No. No? All right, PSV versus Sporting. I'm going Sporting all the way. Sporting's looking like a down the animal, especially for me that watches Liga Portuguesa. They, I think they're the best Portuguese team right now out there. I'm sorry. Besides Mexico, That hurt to say. Yeah, besides Mexico, I, yeah, Oh, okay. But, <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, hey yo, call me delusional like a Man U supporter, but, yo. <laughs> yo, you just had to, just had to add for a For sure, though, for sure. For sure, Tied for one and two is Brent Vegan Sporting for sure. No, no, no. Who's, but who's number one? But who's number one? It's, it's tough to say. It's Gilchrist. 
Yo, just give it to them, man. I know it hurts, but I I ain't gotta do nothing. Yo, okay? are you gonna live in your mind or are you gonna live in reality? I'm gonna live in, re- in reality, which is my mind. Okay, <laughs> so screw you. <laughs> All right, uh, tomorrow's game also is Slovenia burst. Damn. Yo, just just try. Damn, it. yo, just try. All right, Slovenia, Slova, Slovan burst to uh, Slava. Let me see. Versus Man City. Slovan Bratislava. Brat, yeah. Bratislava, whatever. And versus Man City. I got City. Blood in the water. Yeah, but even with their reserves, no, I think yeah. they can. Yeah, wow. That's disrespect to Slovan. S- Bruh, S- City, their reserves can beat a lot of teams. You know, I might even Google it because you probably say something disrespectful. <laughs> Wait. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Barcelona versus Young Boys. <laughs> After Barcelona. Barcelona just you remember Barcelona losing to uh Yes, I, yes, I know. You, Did you, you end up watching it? You told me so much. I saw the incident. <laughs> you told me so much about this. I had to, I had to watch the incident. Yo. Barcelona. And then you heard about the whole saga cuz they brought in um what is it? What Chesney? You brought Chesney now they owe I think Juventus 3 or uh, 3 or 4 mil. I think uh I seen some people say that they should Actually, whatever. If they brought in Chesney, good for Chesney. Yeah, he's getting um, money in. He retired at 31, but he came back for them. And now Barca needs to pay Juventus, I think, three or four mil. And it's just, just added to the mountain of bills. Pretty much. He, they ain't going to see three or four mil span period of 12 years. All right, Leverkusen, Milan. It's going to be a good game. Leverkusen, because Milan has been... Well, their, their result against us was not... It was not great. Obviously, you know, they started really well, but I feel like we, we absolutely walked them afterwards. They did do a good and job against Inter. Inter yeah. Against yeah, Inter, I end, would though. say that, yeah, they did. They did do really well, but they had to grow into that game. Yeah. Um, in Leverkusen, from what I've seen of them, they are a very strong team that is solid as hell, and they're going to play their asses off. I think Milan can get outworked very easily, and they can find themselves, you know, with their heads down very quickly. Chasing uphill battle. Yeah, I agree. I go with Leverkusen too. Uh, Inter versus Red Star Belgrade. Or... Inter. Inter, yep. Arsenal PSG. It's going to be a good game too. But I'm going Arsenal. Arsenal. I haven't seen enough PSG. I probably should watch more PSG games because I'm interested to see how... You the know, Ligue The Uber Eats league. I'm not... Not Ligue 1. Maybe I'll watch like Champions League PSG. Yeah. But I'm interested to see how this team looks without Mbappe now. To be honest, they have this one guy that reminds me of uh, Saka, but on the other side, Bakrola, he's actually really good. Yeah. But, um, yeah. yeah, I'm going he is Arsenal. nice. Just overall team depth, uh, quality teams, I'm going to Arsenal. Yeah, now and you guys the, have and, depth, yeah. Yeah, and the play that they're playing, yeah. I think Lee Kang is there starting cam or whatever, and it's like, who? Was he on the bench last year? Yeah, he was, definitely, yeah. Um, Shakhtar to next versus Atlanta. Atlanta. Yep, I agree. Girona, Feyenoord. I think this could be a good game. Girona. Too, but I'm going Girona, yep. Befica, um, <laughs> Atleti. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. I'm going I'm going Befica. Atleti. I'm going Befica straight up. Yeah, but you also said that... <laughs> <laughs> Just don't stop with me, all right? Don't stop with me. Liverpool, Bologna. Liverpool. All right. Uh, what is it? RB Leipzig, Juventus. This is mad games, bro. And and they not nah, and they did it for money, hundred percent. This is crazy. They really thought, yo, like we 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 could add more games. Players aren't working hard enough. And then you got Ancelotti being like, yo, I'm gonna have to give my guys vacation midway through the year. I, I wouldn't be mad at it, yo. That's crazy. All right, you said uh, Leipzig, Juve, Juve. Let me go Leipzig on this one. I'm gonna go Leipzig for sure. Um, Lille or Madrid? Madrid. Of course, uh, that team that we said in the beginning, SK Sternum Graz versus Club Bruges. Give me Bruges. Bruges as well. Villa, Bayern. Mm. Bayern. What time is it, is that game? It's Wednesday, but 3, 8, 3 p.m. Definitely Bayern. Bayern. Yeah, Monaco Bayern. and then Dinamo Zagreb. Monaco. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And then that concludes match day two of eight. 
which is crazy that's a lot of game yeah that was never ending it's ridiculous holy crap it's ridiculous i feel for them man they should go on strike you know and they should all like come together maybe get a union going or something they they do they have they have the 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 union that does something though yeah a union that that actually does something something, yeah because that's ridiculous man the amount of games are ridiculous like i said they did it for money i don't like how many games there are I can't watch all the games. I'm one person. I, yeah. I can't do this shit. They're adding, uh, what is it, the Club World Cup too? I, I'm not watching. That's an, uh, yet another competition I'm not watching. <laughs> I don't watch it. Just my team, Benfica, that's about it. Benfica, Real, that's it. After that, I don't care. Do you think that's their mindset about it? Like, oh, as long as we get, as long as the teams are there, the fans are going to watch. But like, I personally, if it's not my team, I'll still watch just if it's a good game. Yeah, I mean, I'll watch if it's a good game, 100%. But you just said, oh, I'm just, if Benfica is there, yeah, I'm watching Benfica. It, all that to help. Maybe. And I feel that. Maybe if I maybe if they have an African team, just just because I've never seen an African country club in a tournament like this. So maybe I'll watch that. But only for that, only for that fact. Of, that novelty. You know, exactly. But other than that, no, I wouldn't give a, no, hell no. Who cares? Maybe I'll watch the finals too, just because it's the finals. It's bound to be a good game, quote unquote, you know. But other than that, no. Yeah, don't get your hell. don't get your hopes up, man. To hell with that, man. No. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what they were what they were thinking about. The, no, I know what they were thinking. thinking. It was yeah. money. It was money, and um, for a nonprofit organization, they sure worry about money a lot. <laughs> Didn't they get corruption scams like not too long ago? The old FIFA president. Yeah, you better be careful, man. You better be Jones careful what you start. Yeah, it's Jones check. Oh, <laughs> Just be careful, man. <clears throat> I-, I heard you wait for like Boeing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yo. If you like this video, like the video. If you like this content, <laughs> if you like the content, subscribe. I live in California. We'll be back with more. I'll see you next week. Love the game. Love you. Goodbye. <laughs>